in this section we are going to create an alignment for this uh, survey area with the, in, including the surface we have so to create an alignment uh, we need to go to home tab alignment alignment creation tools so it is giving the alignment creation window so to my name alignment name i will type design center line and if you like you can give you a description as well our type would be center line so my starting station is zero and i will use proposed as my alignment style and alignment label style as uh, all labels later we can change these things if you like so i click ok here so it will give you a toolbar like this so if you create the alignment and if you get this layout toolbar grayed out at the first time you need to close the drawing and open it again otherwise you cannot do anything from the uh, anything with the alignment you have to create that alignment from the beginning again that is uh, only when you are starting for the first time but if you are already created an alignment i will tell you how to do with that one later so now i am going to create my alignment so in this case i will be using very few tools to create the alignment because we have so many tools here but i will later tell you uh, I will give you more resources to find out more about alignments so I will click this option tangent tangent no curves first so make sure your object snaps are turned off not none of the object snaps are turned on here make sure that so I'll start somewhere from the starting area so first I will create the straight parts first for this is my center line so i will try to make my part as straight as possible so in this in this area you can see small curve here so i will stop my straight line somewhere here and then i right click so it will you can see uh, my chain edges or the stations start to pop up so this is kind of small here so i will set my scale into one is to thousand so that i can see everything very clearly now i have created the one created one straight section here then i have another straight section here somewhere in the middle so i will draw that part from this so i will come to here and i will draw that straight part as well then i right click now my chain edges for the station labeling won't be continued up to this point because we have a gap in this area so if you accidentally close this toolbar while you are drawing these things so you can get it back by selecting the alignment selecting the alignment and then right click go to edit alignment geometry from here or otherwise you can go to ed, uh, geometry editor on the align uh, ribbon right so i'll go with edit alignment geometry then it will be back so you, you don't need to create a new alignment in this case you can get it back uh, with the alignment geometry ed editor so after you create this some create some part of the alignment if you see these some of these are grayed out then what you have to do is you have to close the drawing and reopen it again and click the alignment and go to geometry editor like earlier so then you will be getting a, a selectable toolbar here if it is not grayed out right right so that is how to uh, get rid if the toolbar is grayed out once you started creating the alignment so now i am going to add a curve here so 
I will go to these curve options. Then I will use this free curve fillet to entities through point. So I click here. So it is asking on the command line first select the first entity. So my alignment is running from here to here. So I, my first entity would be this green line. I select this one and my next entity would be this green line. I select that one. Then it is asking a location for the curve to go. So you can check with, with from where you can set the curve. So it will tell you. So I put my cursor somewhere here. So right. So I have created the curve from here. Then what I do is I have another curve here. Then I have some kind of a straight section here as well. So I have another straight section from here. Maybe somewhere here I will start my straight section and I will go somewhere here and stop and right click. Then I have my curve. So once you have selected one entity type it will be preloaded up up here so you don't go want to go from here if you are going to use the same one you can click here straight away so it will load the last command so i will use select first entity and select the next entity and i will add the curve like this and right click now you can see your alignment chain edges or stationing me also continues so likewise you can uh, continue your uh, alignment so seems like we have a larger radius curve here but in the midpoint i can see there's a straight section so i'll have this straight here and right click and i will have a curve here in the middle Right. so again we have another one here and I will come to the end here and right click and I will add the curve again from here to here so now this curve not seems to be correct because it is going out somewhat so i will use a new option here i will use uh, actually two curves at this case so i will use this command here floating sorry uh, from here i will go from here floating curve from entity end through point this option and i am start it is asking to select my entity I select this entity so it will start my curve from this end and I will create a curve and stop that curve somewhere here so that it follows my center line and right click then I am going to add a brand new curve here so I'll try to make it this way we will see whether it works free curve fillet if it is not working we will see another option so i'll click here and click here and it supports our option so i will click here to finish the uh, alignment now my alignment is completely finished sometimes uh, when you have two curves in close interval and you are trying to create free curve fillet from this one from this curve to this straight section sometimes it might not work in older versions but uh, you can use other methods in that case so this is basically how to create the alignment so when you are creating the alignment you need to check so many factors like uh, there may be constraints like you might not you cannot go some areas on the road so you can see this is a little bit away from the center line so sometimes there may be a constraint you can't go this far from the center line so in that case you have to edit this alignment so you have to 
uh, pay attention to attention to those details when you are creating the alignment uh, in other words when you're creating the alignment you need to follow alignment creation guidelines if you are a highway engineer or you are using highway engineering standards or guidelines you have to use those guidelines to create the alignment to satisfy the design speech and other super elevation criteria but this is only for to give you a basic understanding how to create an alignment from civil 3d in the description area i will add a source so that you can get better understanding about how to create an alignment with uh, most of these options so you can get more idea from that uh, video